Hey guys, so today I want to bring you my dream book haul and I want to apologize for the screaming children you will hear in the background because it is summer and my apartment complex faces the pool so I get all of that noise pollution but anyway, so let's just get started. So this month I didn't really buy too many books. I was busy reading books, so I didn't really buy too many. But I got a nice little stack this month, so I'm still happy. I want to mention two books, and that is the continuation of the Never Never um, novella trilogy thing. So I finished the first one and I immediately had to buy the second one and the third one. And I'm kind of a little bummed with how this novella ended. I don't know. I just was hoping it would go a different way. Or not a different way, but just I was hoping there was some other, I don't know, something. I just feel like it was missing something. But I do, I did enjoy it. And if you don't know what this one's about, it's about two teenagers who wake up like in the middle of their day and they have no idea who they are, where they are, their names, their family's names, or nothing. So it's a mystery, contemporary mystery kind of thing going on. And they were really well written. I just wasn't as satisfied with the ending as I want it to be. Uh, the next book I have is called uh, is by Colleen Hoover, and it's uh, Confess. I don't have the physical copy with me right now because I'm loaning it out. And I haven't read it yet, but I'm excited to read it because I'm, like I said, I'm going on a big Colleen Hoover kind of mass reading kind of thing. And I don't really remember what Confess was about, so I can't really talk about it. <laughs> but I bought it in the month of June. So moving on. The next book I bought is called The Future for Curious People by Gregory Sherrill. So the book, this book, in this reality, it is very common for people to go to see these envisionists and see their future with, their romantic future with someone. They have to know their name, and so they are, they are given an insight to see what their, that future holds. I thought it was very interesting. I look at this cover. The cover is really interesting. People go into relationships not really thinking of the end because they're too busy thinking of their present and maybe their future. But the people in this world are kind of conditioned to go and say, I don't want to live in that future until I know what it is. And it's kind of sad. Like, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to be in a relationship. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in a world where that this was normal to do, just to go and see the future instead of waiting and living in your, living your present. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I saw this at Barnes & Noble, and it was 20 bucks, and I didn't want to spend 20 bucks on it, but I really, really wanted it. So I ordered it off Amazon, and it is Romeo and or Juliet um, by Ryan North. So I had to get it, and the, illustra and the illustrations are by Noelle Stevenson. I saw it and I just thought, oh my god, this is amazing. You can actually choose how Romeo and Juliet ends. And so you can go the traditional sense and end the story with how you know it ends and stuff like that. Or you can decide a different ending for Romeo and Juliet because, let's face it, I'm sure we've all been there where we really wanted uh, Juliet to wake up before Romeo drinks um, his poison. So I'm really excited to go through this. I haven't even gone through it at least once, so I've been reading other books. So I'm really excited to see how how I want the first read to go. <laughs> so moving on, uh, the next book I've got is The After Party Poems by Jenna. I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, this I got for a uh, for free for an honest review. I thought the cover was just beautiful. I wanted to give another poet another try. I was not as impressed with this one. I don't think it's the same style that I really like. I just wasn't a fan. This was just not my type of poet poetry. But it might be yours, so you never know. And lastly, now I have a friend who is a great vlogger slash book booktuber, and her name is Hannah from Books Worms Talk. And she recommended this book in her, it was her June um, new release video, that's what it was. She, immediately, she introduced it in that video and I just had to go and pick it up. And it is One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I loved this story. It's about a couple who meets when they're teenagers and they fall in love and they, you know, spend their lives traveling and they develop just this amazing 
adventurous life, and then he disappears. He disappears in an accident, in a helicopter accident. It's gone for two, three years, and then she's finally, she moves back home and she kind of puts her life together, and then she gets engaged again after a while, and then all of a sudden, he's found and he's coming back. So it's about her struggle, like you see the beginning of the relationship. I really liked how this was done, how they show you like a peak of how they met and then like the way their relationship kind of progresses and how they grow up a little bit and, and just the complex emotional uh, turmoil that she and he and everybody involved goes through and it's just, I would not know what to do in her situation. Thank you, Hannah, for introducing it to me. That was the last book in my June book haul, and I'm already ready to go and buy um, <laughs> more. I read half of the books that I bought this month, so I feel like I'm doing pretty good, especially since I didn't buy too many this month. So I'd love to hear what you're reading, and if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. Thanks for watching, and happy reading!